Now, Kenya's economy is expected to grow next year by 5%, down from a projected 6%, according to the International Monetary Fund. The slowdown has been largely blamed on the election crisis. Here again is reporter Mohamed Yusuf. Kisumu residents are in a rush to purchase the little food that is available in the streets. Commodities are scarce and business is not doing well. Weekly political protests are being blamed. There is not much business since demonstrations began because on the demonstration day there is no business. We are also forced to join the protest and the police are here until the evening and the day ends without making a cent. Opposition strongholds like Isumu have seen a series of protests demanding that members of Kenya's Electoral Commission resign. Some of the demonstrations have turned violent. The protests have cleared streets in Kisumu, the biggest town in western Kenya. You cannot come. Here is a, it is a contingent of policemen wherever we are here. Because it was after peaceful demonstration, everybody was being chased within the town. Even if you are just a passersby, you are being tear gas and yet you are not a protester. Shop owners could be seen idling and chatting as some lucky ones welcome the fee walking customers. Business is normal. When a protest begins, we close the shop and join them. We are fighting for our rights so that we can have a good business opportunity. Without rights, business won't be as usual. The political uncertainty has prompted the Kenyan stock market to fall since September 1st, when the Supreme Court annulled President Uhuru Kenyatta's victory in the August election. Kisumu business leaders fear they may lose employers to neighboring towns. We have businesses who are already contemplating moving out of Kisumu to the nearing areas where there are no demonstrations and relocating their go-downs to those places so that uh, they can continue with business. And we believe this is going to affect Kisumu greatly. For the time being, the business has remained, but the demonstrations go on. The newly elected governor of the region has a daunting task to attract investors if and when the political uncertainty ends. Mohamed Yusuf for VOA News, Kisumu, Kenya.